three years. I can't believe it's been about three years since I've been here. You guys are really gonna make me do this, huh? Onwards and upwards. I'm in the park now. I cannot even tell you how I'm excited that King's Dominion finally has a proper poster. And not only that, it's the only b and in, in on the East Coast besides Gatekeeper. I might be wrong about that. I will be going on this next year. Cannot wait. Here's the merch for Halloween Horror. I looked for a hat and they said they don't have it, but they might have one with Charlie Brown on it. Here's the interactive lanterns. I was thinking about getting one of these, but now I'm not sure. But we'll check back later. The Action Theater, which used to be home to uh, SpongeBob 3D, one of my favorite attractions. I am so excited about this because I've heard really, really good things about it. It's half museum, half maze. I cannot wait to go in there tonight. Walking now to Jungle Expedition with Kumbili and next year home to Raptera. I've never been in here before, so uh, I'm super excited. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. Forgot to do the intro, but it's a little late for that. Stop on the agenda today. Raptera, which is right outside. You know, we'll check that out. Two, Kumbili. Haven't been on there yet. Uh, it looks okay. It's like a 30 40 second ride, but you know, whatever. I have to ride it because I haven't been on it yet. Third, first ever haunt. Sitting in Outpost, uh, the Outpost restaurant over by Tumbili, and there's a lot of these Easter eggs for Volcano. There's references to the Lost World and the Land of Dews, uh, even the old Smurfs ride that used to be here. I, I'm, in, I'm very impressed with the theming. Um, this makes me hopeful that this park has somewhat of a good future ahead of it. Here you can see a lot. This is almost a very Indiana Jones-esque, isn't it? Way up there. Get a shot of that. That black and white one is um, the mountain before this volcano. feels right now. Right here. Right, right here is where Volcano used to be. Like right there. The volcano was like right there. There was a sign right here that said Volcano the Blast Coaster. Tumbili is right here. And this sexy thing is Raptera. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that thing. That is gonna be insane. Oh man, this certainly brings back some memories, doesn't it? I don't. You guys can't see it from here, but that window up there is—I'm um, pretty sure it's like the shadow outline of the creeper from Scooby-Doo. Back when uh, Paramount owned Kings Island and the other parks in the country, uh, this was Scooby-Doo uh, Ghost Blasters. And this was my absolute favorite ride in the whole entire world as a kid. And when I went back uh, after Cedarfair bought it, no more Scooby-Doo, but still, still pretty cool that window is still working. We're gonna, we're gonna try to beat Boosifer this time. Hopefully I can do it. Something always has to go wrong, doesn't it? I was having a pretty good day. It's a little bit busy, but you know, people are off school. It's a Sunday, I understand that. Uh, we went on boot blasters, and I'm not even kidding you, it seemed like half the ride was broken. Uh, lights weren't on, targets wouldn't work. I think I looked down at my score, even though I was shooting it up, it was 510, not even over a thousand points. That is, uh, boot blaster, boo blasters need some love. Like, please. Fix it, revamp it, do whatever you need to do. Get it working, please. Thank you. All right. I 
just got off of Tumbili, had a little little uh, dinner, a little, a little slice of pizza. So, first time on Tumbili, it's really short, but it is really fun. Uh, <laughs> I, it's really, it flips you up, down, upside down a couple times, and that's about it. And the ride's over before you even know it, but it's a pretty good addition for something that replaced a flat ride like the Crypt. I mean, I waited about an hour for it because it's super busy today, but 30 minutes max. Uh, I would probably wait about 30 minutes for that. Uh, if not, it's it's okay. I'm making a good view of the opening ceremony. Blood rain. The thing that kicks off Halloween. I don't know what that is. But uh, yeah, it should be, uh, should be pretty fun. This is Thomas, mother of nightmares, high protector of all monstrum, commander of the armies of fish in abyss, leader of the netherworld, her royal highness, queen majesty. I'm pretty cool. There was like, like exhibits from like past haunts. It was honestly pretty cool. So now we're gonna go over by the mask right here, up because I'm really interested in that. It looks really cool.
Okay, next up we're doing uh, from once. This should be uh, interesting. show was Conjure the Night. That was really fun. Uh, I went to Dominator and I was in line for about 45 minutes before it got delayed and I could do Cornstalkers but I'm just tired. Got the Haunt shirt. It's got, it's got stuff on the back. With that, I'm going to end that night here because I'm tired and I have work tomorrow. Pretty good haunt. Pretty good first haunt. Uh, I definitely will come back in. It's super, super fun. This is the Vlogger Dude saying I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Bye.